Good morning, good morning everyone. It's actually late morning. It's about 11.30, Tuesday, February 5th. And there's more content going on here at Litchfield County Computer, which means it's time to make another shop video. I'm over on the other side of the workbench today because you can see all the parts that are in front of me, which those people that have followed me for a while, they know what this means. Yep, it's build time. I want to talk a little more about my custom builds. Uh, why custom build over buy? Simple answer to that question is that by going the custom build route, you can get higher quality parts, much higher quality than you would be able to buy for a much lower price. Now, it's very hard to do this with lower end basic machines like your $400 Dell. But when you're talking higher end workstations like what this is going to be, <coughs> or if you're talking about something like a CAD computer or a high end gaming machine or in this case, this particular client just wants a quality machine. Um, they had a Dell Optiplex that was only three years old and the motherboard decided to die. That was This was the machine, for those of you that remember, this was the Dell Optiplex that came in here with symptoms of bad memory. And I ordered the stick for it and got it in here and put it in well it turns out it was a lot more than bad memory the motherboard was also on the way out in fact I'm wondering if the memory indication was because the motherboard was on the way out and that motherboard was a very proprietary and fairly expensive motherboard to get and it would have cost more to get the to get the motherboard and get it installed than it would have cost to buy a new computer but in the meantime this particular client after discussing the benefits and honestly the drawbacks mainly the price of going with a custom build, they decided to go custom build. Now, when I do my custom builds, I use the highest quality parts. I have those of you that follow me, have followed me for a while on YouTube, are aware of this. Because the parts are such high quality, it's not atypical for one of my custom built machines to last seven, eight, nine plus years. I actually have the file server at my attorney's office is one of my custom builds and one of these and it's it's gotta be it's gotta be pushing nine years old and what I'm gonna do one of these days just for kicks I'm going to go down and I'm going to get the serial number off of the power supply that's in that machine which will actually take a little bit of effort and I'm going to call the company that makes it which is PC Power and Cooling again those of you that have followed me for a while know that I've talked about PC Power and Cooling before done reviews of their power supplies and have talked about how awesome they are And I'm going to find out how old that power supply is, which will tell me how old the machine is, because that power supply is the original supply. It's never been changed. Getting eight or nine years out of one of my custom builds is very typical, sometimes more. Also, you get 
a lot of times you get better technology in one of my builds. For example, this computer is going to use a 500 gigabyte NVMe solid state hard drive for its boot hard drive. What this does is it has the effect of making the machine very fast. Also, we're going to have 32 gigabytes of memory. The memory has not arrived yet. It should be here tomorrow. We're going to have one terabyte worth of storage of traditional hard drive based storage on the machine where customer where personal data will be stored and then we're all going to have a backup system on the machine that will use another one terabyte traditional hard drive to get that done and this will be a Windows 10 home version based machine if any of you have any further questions on my custom builds or interested in having me build you one please contact me my contact information is always at the beginning of my videos also something else I want to talk about briefly I may have talked about in the past about how Facebook seem to restrict YouTube videos. You could post a link to a YouTube video but it always appeared that they would never get put into people's news feeds thus they would never get seen. Well it appears at least as of yesterday that this restriction has been lifted. I posted a link to this YouTube channel on my Facebook account and all of a sudden it's getting likes it's getting it's getting shares it's getting comments so whatever restriction Facebook had in place has been lifted and I tend to suspect that this was because Google was operating Google Plus um, Google Plus though has been sunset. I got the email a few months back and I just got another one reminding me about Google's plans to sunset Google Plus. Apparently they couldn't compete with Facebook. Well at the rate things are going we should have some more content tomorrow. As I mentioned before new equipment that I have allows me to process these videos faster which means I can get them up and get them done and get them up at a much quicker rate which means more content for everybody as always <coughs> rate comment like subscribe uh, if you like what you see let me know if you don't like what you see let me know that too we can always make fixes adjustments and improvements I'll see everybody I'm sure I'll see everybody tomorrow See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.